So welcome back everyone, Mike here. This is the second half of the grading and trail seeding video. I intended on making just one video, but yesterday when I was working out here, I just finished grading everything up with a box blade and just switched to the call to packer and I was getting ready to seed it and the wind started picking up and it was thundering all around us and I thought it was gonna pour down rain. So I was kind of hurrying and rushing and I really wasn't sure what all I got on video. And so I decided just to kind of split this up into two videos. But anyway, everything worked out pretty well, I think. I'm not sure if this is a waste of time or not. Time will tell. I think tomorrow it's supposed to rain a little bit. But I got everything seeded and I ran in with a call to packer. And if you don't have a call to packer, most people don't unless you use them all the time. They're a great tool. They're fantastic. But if you don't have one, all I'm really using a call to packer for in this trail is to kind of get the seed down into the soil. Any kind of drag or anything like that, even just running it back and forth with the tractor will help, just your tires. Uh, but that call to packer kind of sets that seed down a little bit. I've seen people use, you know, old bed springs or pieces of chain link fence. Just any kind of drag with a little bit of weight on it to get that seed to soil contact. So uh, that's the story on that. Before I get started with the uh, remainder of the footage from yesterday's video, I wanted to give a shout out to a viewer of this channel. Uh, we get a lot of messages on our Facebook page and I read every single one of them. Sometimes it takes me a while to respond because you'll read one and then you kind of start reading the next one and then next thing you know you're 10 or 15 in. And so usually once a week I try to get caught up or Melissa answers them a lot. But anyway, I got a message uh, last week from a nice young lady and she's telling me about her father, Joe Cole. And Joe is a police officer in Georgia and I guess Joe was in a bad accident and while he was home recuperating from that car accident he found our YouTube channel and started watching all our videos and now Joe is back at work he's healthy and I'm really glad to hear that and he still watches the channel so it wasn't just because he was laid up that he was watching the channel he still enjoys them so anyway Joe glad you're back to work and uh, thanks for watching I gotta pick up the pace a little bit. It's thundering all around me. Anyway, here's what we're using. Scottish Lynx Fine Fescue Mixture. So what I'm gonna do before it rains, I don't know if it's going to or not. I'm gonna seed this going out around that way. I have the tractor sitting way over there. I'll bring the tractor and the call to packer up to here and start seeding my way out that way and hopefully get this done before it rains. I'm going to build a uh, 
weight box on top of this thing put more weight on it I mean it's working fine now but before I put some uh, fall food plots in I need to put some weight on that call to packer so I think the uh, rain missed us it sounded like it was raining just down the road a little bit so that's good but anyway out through here this flat area out here there's a lot of maple trees and uh, the roots are real shallow on here I didn't take much at all with the box blade I hit a couple roots but this is kind of fine the way it is I got it loosened up a little bit so I'm gonna seed this last section and then I will uh, run about four or five round trips with a call to packer and it should be good and then we'll wait and see if it grows <laughs> Well, in a few weeks or a month, we'll know if this was a waste of uh, three hours of my time or not. I don't think it is. I think something will grow, and even if it doesn't, everything's rolled in nice and uh, graded pretty well. If you do anything like this, and you don't have a call to packer, just any kind of little drag will work just to get you know good soil to seed contact. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. So like I said when I started this, I'm not holding my breath that this is going to grow. Very, very shady areas. However, I don't think I wasted my time. We'll see what happens. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, uh, and it is August. Not a very good time to plant grass, but usually that's because it's out getting baked in the sun. So back here in the shade, I don't think it will affect it as much. Just need a little bit of rain, and uh, we'll see what happens. But I'd really like to get this to a point where I can just mow it, and uh, you know if you get good grass growing on it even weeds it helps with erosion and also keeps you out of the mud you know what I mean if you so right after heavy rain you know Melissa and the dogs can go for a hike out the trail or whatever and not bring the dogs back and need a bath so that would be nice so we'll see here in a couple weeks I'll report back in this area and we'll see if anything's green it's all going to depend on the weather at this point uh, but anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button. That really matters, and I appreciate it. Click subscribe and share them with your friends. Thanks. Thanks.